everyone welcome back to my channel i am finally out of bed it's like noon this is what i wanted just to lay in bed without having to worry about anything else and i finally did that this morning it snowed in the middle of the night kind of gloomy outside but now i'm ready to kind of shower get ready for the day because i do want to go out and hike possibly the snow starting to melt because it's starting to warm up so i think later this afternoon i'll be able to go hiking and then prepare myself like a nice dinner and things and just relax again later tonight but I wanted to show you guys my kind of go-to shower routine at the moment because you know I'm pregnant. And I talked about in the beginning how I really just felt like I smelled like metal. Like that's all I could smell about myself, especially in like my armpits and like this area underneath my boobs, metal, like coins. And it didn't matter how much I showered or put deodorant on or anything like that. That's all I could smell about myself. But your girl has found a shower routine where I don't have that scent at all. I smell fresh, I smell clean. So this is probably one of the most basic shower routines I could have ever done. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know I'm all about layering a scent to kind of emphasize the smell that I wanted to be that day. But I'm just not into that right now because a lot of the smells make me very nauseous. So I needed something that made me smell good, that got rid of the metal smell, that made sure that my BO was taken care of and cleaned out, but also felt good and made me feel happy because a shower is like my me time, right? So I feel like I have nailed down the perfect basic go-to shower routine and I, and I feel like this can work for literally anyone or just aren't into like the crazy type scents that I normally show. This is for everybody and then like your finishing spray can be whatever scent you want it to be because the rest of the shower routine is just a clean smell. There's nothing crazy going on. So yeah, I'm excited and let's get cleaned up, freshened up. I'm also going to do kind of like my skincare, show you guys what I've been using for my face and whatnot. Oh, also if you're not aware, I am in an Airbnb. I'm on my solo trip, so everything's kind of different. Shower is different and everything. If you didn't know that already and you didn't watch my previous video, this is not my house. Let's go ahead and get right into this video. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing my normal like pre-wash with the bar soap just because lately the Dr. Bronner's baby unscented soap smells a little funky to me this pregnancy. The more I get pregnant, the more off it smells. So I'm just going straight into the body wash. I started using the Lumi, Lume, Loom, I don't know how to pronounce it, body wash because I've been pleasantly happy with the deodorant. And I thought, let me try out the body wash and see if it helps. And I really do feel like this has been probably the biggest factor of why I don't stink and why I don't smell metal or any other type of BO. This video is not sponsored. I've loved Lumi deodorant for a really long time now. You guys know this if you've been watching my videos. This has been my first go around using the body wash. I'm already almost out of it because I shower twice a day just because I sweat a lot at night. And it has been my absolute favorite. It's the cucumber melon scent. To be honest, I don't smell cucumber melon at all. And I've told you guys this with the deodorants. I don't feel like they smell like the scent that they're given. They don't smell like anything to me. And they never have. The key factor in this is that the deodorant and the body wash, especially together, just completely erased the BO that I was having. And I highly recommend if you have not ever tried any of their products to just get you some, especially if you struggle with a smell. And now I'm going to exfoliate. I don't exfoliate or use like a body scrub each time that I shower. However, I have been frequently using the exfoliating gloves when I wash my body. It's just easier for me to get into like the creases and crevices, especially because my belly's growing. I really wanted to find a body scrub that just smelled fresh and heavenly, but didn't have like a strict scent, like something that's sweet or fruity or rosy or something like that you know what i'm saying so i spent the money on this way one and y'all let me tell you when i bought it i told you guys it smells like a five-star hotel like a really just luxurious hotel room and that's from inside the jar when i put this on my body girl i was 
feeling myself. Like, I mean, I felt like I smelled like money. It smells rich. And that's the best way that I can put this. It is strong, but not like it didn't make me nauseous. It just made me feel like I'm on a different tax bracket is basically what I'm saying. I wouldn't use this scrub every time I exfoliate because it is expensive. But if you have money like that, I mean, in my head, I'm envisioning that I got money like that now. So I can use this every time I exfoliate. It is so thick and creamy. You can use it on your scalp. I'm not doing that. A little bit goes a long way. I put a little too much in my hands. I didn't think it would spread as far as it did. But the scent, I mean, it's just there. Like there's no mistaking it. So if you have a date night or a special type of appointment, you know what I'm saying? Or you just really want to spend some time on yourself and pamper yourself, this way scrub is it. for me to shave i'm going in with this billy whipped shave cream which you guys i think it might beat out my usual favorite of the flamingo shave gel as far as like plain scents go it's very creamy and to me it shaves almost like an oil which i really love the foam gel from the flamingo can sometimes get caught on different razors depending on what you're using but this was so slick that it kind of reminded me of shaving with an oil. So I think this is taking the number one spot as far as like shaving products go. I am using my Flamingo Racer. It's been my favorite. I do want to try the Billy one eventually, but I'm just not there yet. I'm going to wash my face. I'm going in with the Savannah Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser, which this is probably hands down my favorite cleanser that I have ever used. I have sensitive skin kind of in regards to my face. Like it doesn't do well with a lot of things. And this just is perfection. And then I'm using a brush that I got from Amazon for like $9. I'm just very impressed with how well this cleanser lathers because I do find that a lot of the gentle cleansers don't really lather very well but it keeps the face moisturized. It's not drying in the slightest. And yes, I use a grocery bag as a shower cap. Don't judge me. But now I'm going to exfoliate my face, which I do about two times a week. I'm going in with this Bliss Micro Magic face exfoliator. And I just started doing this again ever since I got pregnant because usually in the beginning of my pregnancy, my skin does fine, but at the end it starts to fall apart. So I'm hoping if I can just find a regimen that I really, really love and stick to it throughout the entire pregnancy, my skin will do fine the entire time. But I love the way this makes my skin feel. It's very like minty fresh type. Like it's just refreshing and it definitely kind of wakes you up. So it's perfect for the morning time. Now, lastly, I'm gonna go in with this VH Essentials Microbalance Odor Eliminating Feminine Wash. Usually I'm against these things, but sometimes I do want to try one here and there. And technically you can use the Lumi body wash downstairs. It's made to be able to use it for that, but I had purchased this before I got the Lumi, so I'm using it and I actually really like it. I have had no issues downstairs as far as anything changing. So I would probably definitely buy it again. And now remember, pat dry, don't rub, pat dry it's essential especially after you just exfoliated and shaved do not rub your skin dry okay or i will find you for deodorant i'm going in with the lumi again this coconut crush doesn't smell anything like coconut but it works and i think moving forward after i'm done with this i would prefer to get the stick just because originally when i used this i was only using it for like downstairs areas especially like when i went to the gym and stuff so the tube squeeze thing made sense but now that i use it under my arms i get tired of rubbing it so i'm gonna buy the stick next time 
Now to moisturize my skin, I go in with two products during the day. My nighttime skincare, as far as like moisturizing goes, looks a little bit different. But for daytime, I like to go in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This has become probably my favorite lotion out of all the ones I've tried as far as being unscented. Um, very light, not too thick or heavy, and it gives kind of like a nice sheen to the skin. So it's really, really nice. Highly recommend. And then for my belly and like my thigh areas, I go in with that stretch mark cream. Get dressed, and now I'm moving on to my face. I've been using this Bliss Glow and Hydrate Serum, which I also really like. This is the day serum, and I need to get my hands on the night serum. By the way, everything that I'm using in this video can be found in my Amazon shop, which will be in the description box down below. That way, you guys don't have to go and search for it. It's all there for you, ready to go. And then once I do the serum, I go in with the Vanna Cream Facial Moisturizer. And again, this Vanna Cream line, y'all, I'm really so impressed. I've been dying to try it for a few years. And then I was always kind of like second guessing and never went for it. I should have started this product like way sooner. It's divine. And I just feel like the serum and the moisturizer add a really nice glow to my face, which I definitely need, especially in the winter. And then for my under eyes during the day, I go in with the Bliss I Do All Things, I think it's called. And you just kind of squeeze the little top and then you roll it on. I didn't realize my camera had moved, so I'm sorry. I cut it off a little bit. This is nice. I haven't really noticed much of a difference, but I have always had dark circles under my eyes. I don't know how to get rid of that. They've been there since I was born, so <laughs> is what it is. I'm just kind of putting myself a little bit together. Concealer, mascara, and then a little lip tint. And that's pretty much all. My scent for the day is the Ariana Grande God is a Woman perfume. This is kind of what I've been using every single day just because it's simple and kind of goes with everything. And oddly enough, I realized it perfectly matches the way body scrub. So that's a win for me. And that's going to wrap up this kind of go-to basic but perfect hygiene and skincare routine for me. I hope you all enjoy this video. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.